Oh, I don't want peaches, babes. I don't, I don't want peaches. This one, come on then. This light is hitting cute, no? Don't know what to do. Subtle brag, I have a PT, I know. Grab them boxing gloves, honey, because I've got to let off some steam. Oh. Wow. Maybe something exciting will happen. And I'd left his car seat at home. This week's just been a bit of a week. Let me take you into the bathroom. Hugo is about to go and meet his little cousin for the first time. Live in the moment, do you know what I mean? No. It's almost the coronation, Tom. It's almost the coronation, darling. We're all excited for King Charles. <laughs> See you on the flip side. Yeah, on the flip side. Cute. You're so, you're so cool. Are we having lunch? Hugo is literally obsessed with peaches. Like, it's abnormal how much this kid likes peaches. We have been to playgroup this morning. Thank God playgroup's back on because half term's finished. Like, well, half term? The Easter holidays? I don't know what we call it, but they've finished. So yeah, playgroup's back. Hopefully routine's back. I've got back from playgroup. I'm feeding him his lunch now, and then I'm gonna go on a nice long walk with my friend Georgia on her lunch break. And hopefully you'll have a really nice long nap because we've, we've, we've managed to transition back to just one nap a day. I don't know how we've done it, but we've done it. So I'm just gonna really try and keep that going. I was really not nervous about going today, but I just, I don't know what it is. I've just got anxiety at the moment about being on my own with him. And I don't know where that's come from because I've always been so confident with him, but yeah, anxiety's just come. Anyway, enough about me. It's just been nice to be able to get out of the house. Like the amount of anxiety I had hasn't gone away, but it's it's lessened today because I've achieved something. Do you know what I mean? Like I've, I've done it. I've done it. I've managed to do it. Even though the anxiety was there, I got up. I went out. We, we've done we've done a good we've done a good job so far today. Later on, I'm going to go to Smith's as well with Hugo. I'm going to get Hugo a little doll and pram because I just thought it'd be really nice. Um, especially what with the fact that he's got a cousin now that hopefully he'll be meeting this week. And yeah, I just think it'll be good for him to get into the habit of knowing what a baby is, what a baby does, and getting excited with sort of like his own pram, his own baby. I just think it'd be really nice. Anyway, I'm going to get back to lunch because obviously I need to get him to bed before... One, before he throws everything on the floor. And also before I need to leave to go on a walk. Oh, I don't want peaches, babes. I don't, I don't want peaches. Just got back from my walk. And I does he... He's still asleep. You going back to work now? Yeah. Is it something I said? Yeah. All right, love you, bye. Have a seat. What one do you want? This one. Come on then. Gonna carry it. Bye. Oh, bye bye. Good boy. Come on then. Put her in here. So, as you can see, we got Hugo a little doll. He picked out the colour of the pram, he picked out the baby, he picked out all of it. He just honestly loved it. He had such a great time. This light is hitting cute, no? But yeah, he had such a lovely time and he has played with that dolly since, or like baby, or whatever we call it, I don't know. He has played with it since we've been home which has been so lovely. Reese is now home. I'm just cooking dinner. Well, I say cooking dinner. I'm reheating dinner from last night. Reese is upstairs giving Hugo a bath and they're having a little bit of a play and then we'll have some dinner, wind down and go to bed. It's been an eventful day, it really has. I feel like I've done a lot, like a lot, a lot. And I think it's definitely helped. Like, I just like being occupied when I have Hugo. I just feel like I'm wasting time, just like sat doing nothing and like putting the TV on or, do you know what I mean? Uh, oh, that's the microwave basically saying food's done. Anyway, I am rambling, so I'm saved by the bell. We hope to get your pre-order team.
Guys, I've literally been on hold to dusk for I don't know how long. Like, so far it's been 53 minutes. Like, no one's picking up the phone, no one's replied to my email, no one, just no one's getting back to me. Basically, we ordered our bed and it said it wasn't going to be arriving until June or, yeah, June. Absolutely fine, like, I can deal with that. Um, but they're sending it to the wrong address, they're sending it to my billing address rather than my actual home address where we're going to be moving to. And no one's picking up, so the, the bed's now being delivered on Tuesday, like a month and a half before they said they were even going to be able to deliver it. And it's going to be delivered here and there's nowhere to store it and I'm panicking and oh, no one's getting back to me. <sighs> I've emailed, I've called, I've sent DMs and no one's got back to me for like well over a week. So I'm stressing because a bed's arriving here on Tuesday next week. Don't know what to do. No one's picking up. Right, so I just got back from my PT, okay? Subtle brag, I have a PT, I know. Anyway, yeah, just got back from my PT and honestly, I said before I left, didn't I, that Dusk weren't calling me back and I wasn't getting in contact with them and no one was contacting me and all this and the other and I requested a call back and no one's called me back. Anyway, they called me back during my PT, didn't they? First off, Reese called me and I was like, hello, I'm at my PT. I was like, I'm at Sam's. He was like, who's Sam? I was like, my PT, Reese. And Reese was like, oh, okay, never mind. Anyway, can I eat the leftover meatballs? And I was like, babe, so they put it out on the side all night, I probably wouldn't recommend it. So that was that. Anyway, I hung up because I had things to do. So I was working out, right? And then my phone rings again and I was like, oh, is that Reese? And he was like, no, it looks like a Leeds number. And I was like, oh my God, it's dusk. Give me the phone now. So he threw the phone at me, right? Like not physically threw it, but like gave it very quickly. I answered it and it went, I'm sorry but we're unable to take your call at the moment. Please try again later. Beep, beep, beep. And it just hung up. So I've waited an hour and a half for a call back for them to call me, and then for an automated message to say, sorry, we can't take your call. What? So honestly, after that, I was spitting chips. So I basically said to the PT, grab them box and gloves, honey, because I've got to let off some steam. And clearly it didn't work. I just can't have the bed delivered here. I can't. As far as they're concerned, I've moved into my new home and I don't live at this address anymore. So, like if I physically had already moved out, surely they can't just deliver a bed to someone that now lives here. Do you know what I mean? I just, oh, so annoying. They're delivering it to the billing address, not the shipping address. That's the annoying part. And I just can't get contact with anyone. This is real first world problems and I know that, but I'm sorry, I'm just stressing. There's always something in there. It was just in case you wanted to. Oh, it's a hard life being dressed, isn't it, mate? Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Gonna put your glasses on. Put them on. Go on then. Wow. Oh, dude. Aren't you? Cool boy. So I had a last minute job coming this morning, which is why my mum ended up taking Hugo to nursery. Honestly, he was loving his glasses. He just kept putting them on. We got them like a week ago at that next event. And I mean, they're not the vibe I would have gone for him. All right, they're not, but he loves them. And he just puts them on. And it's the first time he's ever put any like glasses on of any description and actually enjoyed wearing them. So we're rolling with it. We're just going to encourage it. And then hopefully I can, you know, give him the ones that I actually want him to wear. Anyway, I have finished work, not for the day, but just finished my first job of the day. Now I'm off to go and get my hair cut because it's needed, it's hiding under a hat and it has been for two or three days. And then I'm off to the gym, although I've forgotten my key fob, but we're just gonna have to make it work. I'm just gonna knock on the door until someone answers. And then yeah, working for the rest of the day and I'm picking Hugo up from nursery later. So it's not really that much of an exciting day, but maybe something exciting will happen. I don't know, you never know, you never know. Guys, I'm... Really sorry, I have been lacking on the video front this week. I really have. I don't even know what we filmed. I'm not sure if we filmed anything worth writing about, but yesterday was just, it, it was sort of like one of those nothing days. Like we did things, but it was just nothing to really talk about or video or whatever, really. We went and saw our friend's new house, which was lovely, but obviously I'm not gonna film my friend's new house. Um, we went to play group, but again, children there, so I can't film them. But yeah, um, I can't even remember when I last spoke to you guys, probably Thursday. Did I tell you that I left Hugo's 
car seat at home. So I went to work obviously on Thursday, and then obviously I went to the gym, didn't I? Spoke about that, and all this and the other, got my hair cut, la la la. And then I went to go and pick Hugo up from nursery after I had finished working, and I got all the way to nursery, and I'd left his car seat at home. So I had to drive all the way home to pick up his car seat, to go back and pick him up again. And I felt like the worst parent there has ever been. Like I felt awful, it was just not great. And basically the reason I'd left the car seat was because we have one car seat between us. Before we used to have two bases and we'd just switch the car seat between the bases. But now our car seat is attached to its base because obviously Hugo's gone up a car seat because of his age and weight and things like that. Reese has gone out this morning to go and get us a new car seat because it's just not practical swapping and changing these car seats between all the cars, between me, Reese, and my mum. It's just not practical. So one's gonna live in my mum's car, one's gonna live in our car, and we'll just make do. That'll be fine. So yeah, Reese has gone to Baba Boom in Loughton this morning to go and get my mum a car seat because obviously Thursday wasn't ideal and I felt I just felt awful, honestly. I put it on Instagram and so many people said like it's normal, like so many people have done that before. So some people have even forgotten to just pick their kid up, period. Like they've just forgotten to pick their kid up. So I don't feel as bad as I did on Thursday, but I just felt awful on Thursday. Anyway, today Reese's sister, her fiance and his daughter are coming over. I can't remember the last time they saw Hugo. I think it must have been his birthday. So yeah, we haven't seen them in a while, but you know, we've just got busy lives and they don't live super nearby or anything like that. So it has just been hard to see one another. But yeah, we're gonna go and show them the house. We're going to go and have some lunch with them. We're just gonna have a nice little day with them. So I'll try and vlog throughout the day, but as I've said, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not very good with it this week. This week's just been a bit of a week. So guys, we've made it to the house. Everything, literally everything is plastered. Everything, I'm, I'm buzzing. Let me take you into the bathroom. Look at that. It's literally like, they started this on Wednesday and so much of this has already been completed. Under here is our shower tray. It's like the whole floor is done, the shower tray's done. Like most of the walls are done. I'm buzzing. It's gone so well already. So obviously the spare room is still very much a storage room for our whole bathroom unit, but that's gonna be fitted next week. So that's great. Hugo's room is still, again, very much just a shell. And then if I take you guys downstairs, so all of this has been plastered now. Obviously this is our fireplace, so that's been delivered now. And then this wall's already been painted. This has all been mist coated already. The ceiling up here is completely finished. And then this wall has started to be done. It's mad. It's really coming together. Like, it's so exciting. Obviously we've still got a bit of time left before it's going to be completed, but we're really getting there and it just feels mad. It really does. I shouldn't probably talk long. Hugo and Reese have just gone into the car, so I'm gonna go and grab them quickly and then we're gonna go home and spend the rest of the day at home with Reese's sister and her family. So we've just pulled up at my sister's. Hugo is about to go and meet his little cousin for the first time, which is super exciting. It's mad. It's wild. What? I know. Um, we are we are 24 weeks today as well, so we are at viability. Obviously, I know that doesn't guarantee anything, but it feels like the next like milestone. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like in the process. Yeah. So like a, I'm pretty sure that in a few or in a few weeks we'll be in our third trimester. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, I think he's just woken up. Now nah, he's gone back off. He's not ready to meet Daphne just yet. He's not ready for yeah, that. I don't know. He's not no, ready. No. Oh, no. He's not ready to share the limelight. <laughs> um, honestly, he's going through a phase at the moment where Reese and I will have a cuddle and he'll literally come running over, like screaming, as if to be oh like, my God, he's not happy about I'm it. not having it. Which isn't ideal because we're going to be holding a baby very soon. I mean, obviously today, but yeah. obviously our next one's going to be along soon, like we just said, but. So we're gonna to have to try and train him out of that jealousy phase. Yeah, I don't know if that, that, that's possible. I don't think I it think is. I think we'll just get used to it. It'll just become a new normal. Yeah, it's gonna to have to. But yeah. Doesn't have a choice. But yeah, anyway, we'll probably sign off now because we're gonna go in and have a lovely little family day. Yeah, go out for dinner in a bit. Go out for dinner, just chill and just like live in the moment. Do you know what I mean? 
tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in for yet another week. We have had a lovely time. Still can't remember what we've done this week. This week's just been a blur. It has, hasn't it? A big blur. Big blur. Massive blur. I feel like next week's there's a bit more going on. I mean, it's almost, there. it's almost the coronation, Tom. It's almost the coronation, darling. We're all so excited for that, aren't we? We're all excited for King Charles. <laughs> can safely say that the uh, King Charles stock in John Lewis is well and truly still stocked. Still stocked. <laughs> Honestly, we went into John Lewis the other day, right? I, we will sign off after this. But we went into John Lewis the other day, obviously, to look at a fridge freezer, which is being delivered this week. I actually and... really want to do like a, a big house tour in a couple of weeks once everything's kind of a bit more established because yeah, of the course. house looks so different and you can put some like before and afters in there because you're good at Oh, that. can I? Thank you. We were in John Lewis and basically there are tea towels and plates and cups and saucers and everything, you know, like mm. all the quintessentially British <laughs> vibes that we like to collect as memorabilia for the King's coronation. Literally, shelves were stocked. Not a single no. item had been taken. Either they just had a delivery, or literally no one cares. We were going to buy one. We were going to buy a tea towel for your mama. I think she would have been insulted. Yeah, she was. She was a die-hard Diana girl. She really yeah. was. She still is, to be fair. She had the haircut and everything, like the lady <laughs> die haircut. Um, when she was at secondary school, she looked stunning. Yeah, we're going to sign off now. Um, thank you for tuning in for another week, and yeah. we will see you on the next vlog. See you on the flip side. Yeah, on the flip side. Mm. Cute. You're so you're so cool. Mm. You're so cool. You're oh, a cool dad. Best of me. Um, but yeah, like, comment, do the most, share it, tell your friends. Love you. Bye. Bye.